Hey you guys, I hope you're doing well today. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a few of my go-to outfits for days where I'm just kind of hanging out at home. I feel like casual looks are really tricky because Yamin's need so much detail in their outfits to have it be harmonious with their bodies and their energy. And so casual outfits are usually the hardest ones for me to put together. And so I figured why not just jump right in with something that's really difficult for me. So. I have about three and a half looks for you guys. Maybe it's more like four and a half. I think I have four and a half looks for you guys. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. So this first look, it is a turtleneck and jeans combo. Of course, for flamboyant gamine, a turtleneck is a staple in our wardrobe. This one in particular, I got a little bit larger than I would if I wanted it to be fitted because I wanted to use it more casually and so instead of wearing something skin tight when I'm like lounging around my house or doing work or whatever. So this shirt is a little bit bigger but since it is still cropped and it still has the high neckline and the wrists exposed, I think that it works out pretty well for me. Especially when paired with these light wash denim pants. <laughs> Wanted to go with a light wash on the bottom with the dark on the top because that'll create a nice color block that helps out with breaking up any sort of long line that's going on. And then I have a belt on as well just to help further that broken line with a nice chunky belt and that adds a practical detail because these pants are actually too big for me. Also a style element so you know Kill two birds with one stone with that one. For shoes, I have on my Nisolo Solo mules. I told you guys a while back that I was going to be getting these, and here they are. And I think that they really do add a beautiful look to something casual like this. I think that it, since it doesn't stop the ankle, then the whole foot line is really elegant and really beautiful in that way. And since it's a nude color that's not really in any other part of this outfit, it actually can create a color block there too. And so I think that my biggest tip with a look like this when you're making casual looks is just to play with a bunch of different colors, even though these are all neutrals. Play with a few different colors and have very few repeated colors going on. And then have more detail at the neckline with something that has a high collar or a turtleneck and something with, like I added on some jewelry as you can see. I have on my little pendant necklace, which is actually this one. It's a little opal pendant. And also I have on a chain necklace, like a chunky chain. So that adds like a another interesting piece to a generally relaxed kind of an outfit. What do you guys think of this outfit? Tell me down below if at any time you have an idea or a thought, just pause the video, go down below, type it out. Also, if at any point in this video you really like an outfit or something like that, just click the like button. That will help out my channel quite a bit and bring this beautiful flamboyant gamine content to the world, to a bunch of people who didn't know they needed this, okay? <laughs> Alrighty, moving on, let's get into the second outfit. Surprise, I'm wearing stripes. I'm sure you saw that one coming. Um, I love my striped t-shirt looks and I love bright yellow. I feel like stripes are almost a solid for flamboyant gamines. Like they're not the interesting piece of the look, really. Like if you're wearing a striped shirt, that's gonna be like the most harmonious piece you could wear and it's not really a standout piece for flamboyant gamine. That's how I feel about it. <laughs> stripes are neutral. Stripes are solid <laughs> in my made up world. So I have on my striped Everlane t-shirt. It's boxy, it's cropped, it's everything good for flamboyant gamine. But I have it tucked into my mom jeans again. Um, these are from Cezanne and they have completely broken in and they just are super comfortable even though there's no stretch in them at all. I think that if I were to get these jeans again I would definitely size down. That way I would have an option that was more like, ooh these jeans make you look good girl. And then also this pair that I own currently which just makes me feel comfy and cute and 90s mom. These jeans are actually cropped and they're high-waisted. Wearing high-waisted and cropped things shifts 
the line up just, you know, creates that illusion that you're actually proportionate maybe. The other thing that I have going on with this look is this cardigan. Cardigans are essential to me, probably not because of flamboyant gamidity. I feel like cardigans actually don't do much good for any yang leaning elements in my body, but I like them because they're like wearing a warm blanket and I'm cold all the time. So they're more of a practical piece for me than a piece that I would say creates a good structured look. To finish off the look, I have a pair of combat boots on. I think that these are the perfect height of a boot for flamboyant gamine because they come right above that ankle bone, just like maybe about an inch above my ankle bone. I think that that creates a break at my smallest point there. Um, I think that it creates a beautiful line at the bottom there. But then also it's a combat boot, so it has sort of that yang element that you would want to be repeated in your frame. With this outfit, I was feeling like it was just slightly off still, and so I wanted to see how it would look with a pair of black jeans. And I honestly, I like it better with black jeans. Since there is such a huge color moment with this cardigan, I feel like having the black jeans really supports that, and it's not competing with the brightness of the jean below gives me a more fittedness to combat the largeness that is the cardigan. So I think that having a skinnier interior <laughs> line, I guess, would help with if you wanted to wear something that was more oversized and more soft to throw on just something massive and bright over something that's more simple and fitted and still cropped, still high-waisted, all of that good stuff that's important for flamboyant gamine, but then to throw on this huge, fluffy, unconstructed piece, I think really relaxes the look. Now, I've put on my purse. This one, it goes with the shoes. It is a crossbody bag, and it is a rectangle. So I think this is the perfect bag for flamboyant gamine. I didn't even know this when I got it because I had no idea about Kibby back then, but when I got it, I was just drawn to it because it would fit my favorite notebooks. But now looking at it, it is a flamboyant gamine bag. It has this beautiful crossbody element, which is asymmetrical, which helps our frame and creates interest in our outfit. Um, and then it has this rectangle, but it's a small rectangle, which is what is in my frame. This bag that I like to wear with outfits that I feel like might just need a little bit something a little bit of something to kind of ground it and give it that structure. I think that this bag really does that for me. My next outfit is very comfortable, actually. It's almost like wearing pajamas, but I think that it has the right elements in it that make it flattering for my body. And the first element would be my crop top. It's a structured, thick cotton shirt from a gift store that I cropped the bottom of it and I think that because it's so high up on my neck and then it's nice and boxy, it doesn't really form to my frame at all. And so that leaves room for high-waisted bottom, a little midriff breaking up the line, okay? And then these bottoms are actually like oversized trousers and they're elasticated in the back. And so this adds like a cool yang element, I think, and still with the fitted and croppedness that my body needs. It's fitted at the waist, which fits really beautifully there, and then it's cropped at the ankle. And so because of those elements, it's okay for it to be a little bit oversized. Um, and then I feel like that just kind of mimics the top, actually, because the top has similar things going on where it's cropped, but it's also fitted at the neck, and so that is just repeated in the pants. I'm wearing my combat boots again, with those. They're just a staple piece in my wardrobe and they're always there and they always get good use. I decided to throw on a cardigan because with something like this I would definitely get too cold. So I threw on this cardigan. It is from Target as with the other one I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I mentioned that but they're both from Target and they are definitely the softest 
cardigans I have. Other than that, like massive terracotta one that I'm sure you've seen in previous videos. And if you haven't, go watch some more videos. It's always so fun. This cardigan is something else. <laughs> and I don't know how I feel about it yet, which is why I keep trying to make outfits with it. I love the color of it. I love that it's this muted, taupey, purpley, lavender-y color. That's one of my favorite colors to wear. I think it's part of that desert tone palette that I really think is flattering for my skin tone. I might be seeing it weird, and of course, like, it made my crop top do something strange. I ended up switching out my combat boots for my Misolo slides. Those are so easy to work with. I'm serious, they are just the best shoe, and I love them so much. And I put on my big old tote bag that I have that's also from Nisolo, and I tied a little scarf around it to make it a little more interesting for me. And I just love how all of these colors work together, and none of them repeat, and none of them um, really steal the show from each other. I think that to make a good casual flamboyant gamine look you have to play with colors and you have to play with textures in a way that you have something different going on because with the body of flamboyant gamine you have so many different elements showing up and so many alternating pieces going on that it really helps in a casual look to have that mimicked throughout each piece. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I think if I were to leave you with a few little tips in putting together casual outfits for flamboyant gamine that are flattering and that would make you feel comfortable but also attractive, number one would be definitely make sure you have a striped shirt in your wardrobe. That's kind of a staple piece. Make sure you have combat boots. Um, in your wardrobe as well. The next thing would be making sure you have some sort of turtleneck that would be important. Make sure that your tops are cropped and fitted underneath anything that is oversized. So if you're gonna wear something that's massive like a cardigan, make sure everything underneath is formed to your body. And so that could be through wearing a pair of skinny jeans or leggings, that could be through wearing a tank top, or maybe even one of those cool like mock neck kind of um, shirts. Oh, I need to get one of those, that would be really cool. Definitely advise like having cool jewelry to wear around your neck and near your face. And then don't be like too shy about like experimenting with your hair. And then makeup can also turn something that might seem a little bit too relaxed you can use makeup to elevate it and add more interest to your face, even if your outfit isn't particularly animated. So that could be some little things here and there if you don't feel like you're you have everything in your wardrobe to like make your casual outfits feel more flamboyant gamine, then you can always use jewelry and makeup and your hair to just like push it over the edge just just enough. So that is everything I want to say. I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope that it made sense and you can see which outfits really worked for my body more or less or whatever. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and definitely subscribe if you did because I'm going to be doing more videos like this where I'm talking about outfits for certain scenarios. So this one was like a casual day at home. I work from home and so I, you know, don't just like wear my pajamas all day, but I also want to be comfortable. And then I'll be doing some more that are like, you know, going to a party, going on a date, going to the office. That'll be the, a tricky one because <laughs> I work from home. And um, yeah, so if you're interested in those sorts of videos, definitely subscribe. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. All these things help out my channel. So you guys are great. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.